I'm recording now, by the way, everybody, just in case you were... Uh, okay. Um, just in case you were... Uh, uh, so, good, yes, I'm recording, and the sound's all going through, so we're recording the desktop as well. It's fine, Illusions, you can be late if you want to. I won't make a thing of it, or uh, make you write lines or anything like that. I shall not be late. Good, okay, so I hope that you all have uh, voice on. Uh, if you don't, you can hear it. It is being streamed in Discord, in our Discord. Um, so you can watch it in Discord if you want, and I think that think the audio is going there. So, got a quite a, a packed evening of exciting entertainment. It's not here, unfortunately. You've got boring technical stuff. So, <laughs> so I'm um, going to ask you if you're going to ask questions. Let's do it. Do it in the chat so that I can read it. If I miss your question, I'm really sorry. Sometimes it gets a bit crazy, and I'll try and. I'll try and catch up. So, try not to load too many uh, questions into the into the local chat. But it kind of works, so we'll kind of get there. And hopefully, you can all hear me on voice. Um, so that's what we're going to use. So this is our. I don't know how many community meetings we had, but it's quite a lot. And uh, and this is one of the most exciting ones because of what we're doing with the grid and what's happened in the last just couple of weeks. Um, so I'm going to fill you in on all this, and it might all be, yes, please turn off your mics. Um, it just helps, it'll help our cause a little bit. So, um, and yeah, just find a chair if you haven't got a chair. If you want to stand up, that's fine. If you want to have a little dance, that's fine as well. It's no problem. Um, so hi, Luna, lovely to see you. So, okay, just find, find a seat, settle in. Um, we're on voice uh, because, and so again, if you have um, if you have questions, please add them, please put them in local chat and I'll try and answer them sort of one by one, but it can get a bit crazy. So we're there. Um, Relog if you don't have voice. Yeah, it's, it's probably because Vivox is going to be a bit funny and I've got a little story to tell you about that very shortly. So great to see everybody here. So many people. Right, so. Um, okay, good. Okay, I hope you can hear me okay. And uh, welcome, Marcus. Hello, everybody. I'm not going to read all your names out because there's zillions of you. Um, so this is our community meeting. It's the March community meeting. Um, it feels like only yesterday. It was February. Okay, I'm just going to wait a second for Wicked Wicked Way to just to get back because it's only fair, I think. Um, well, I think she might have joined the channel. Oh no, she's left the channel. Someone's someone's here. Yeah, we've gone all all medieval. Um, this is Wolf Abbey because I couldn't think of anything. There is actually a, a Wolf Abbey in uh, in RL, which is very interesting. So boring technical stuff um so i bought some new domain names during the month um i hope Wicked, wicked's okay now yep okay wicked's back i can start so i bought some new domain names this month and you will see them in various places on the grid website wolfgrid.it.com is really useful if you want to get people to the website easy you can just go wolfgridit.com so wolfgrid.it.com uh wolfgrid.jump you'll see that um on the region profile page, which I'll show you. Our servers are running very well, and we're building something very, very cool, uh, a new cluster. And for those of you who've never been to one of these boring technical meetings, okay, don't worry if it goes over your head. I'm happy to talk to you afterwards, um, but I'm gonna try and explain what we've got now. And as we're a community grid, I like to be really transparent and open about the, the, um, uh, the, the software and the systems that we're running. So, currently we have a Proxmox cluster with 14 hardware servers and 24 virtual machines. And what that basically means is that if you imagine one server, a whole server, can run like five or six machines, and some of them run about eight, depending on how big they are. We have four load balancers, and what, what a load balancer is, basic, <coughs> basically it allows us, so if we have, let's say, well, to give you an example, we've got 40 robust servers, okay? 
So that means when you go somewhere or do something, the grid will find a, a nice free server to run it. And it does that with what's called a load balancer. So that's, it balances the load basically. Uh, our assets are stored on Cloudflare R2 storage. That's about 10.1 petabytes of space. Uh, most of it, most of our current cluster is built with Pro AMD Ryzen 5, 7s and 9 servers, which that's the processor in it. And they're quite, they're not exactly new. Okay, they're, this is about three years of building it up. Um, so data is stored on each server that hosts the container. So that's technical stuff, but basically this is what we've got now. The problem with it is it's kind of grown over the last three years and it's not really set up correctly for what we actually need. And I'll show you what I mean. So the new cluster is going to be called, is a harvester cluster. Now this is slightly different in the way that it works and I'll explain all that in a minute. First thing is we're upgrading our servers to 30 core Epic servers. They will actually have two terabytes of NVMe disks per server and we'll have three minimum to start with. Um, I've got some funding coming in to pay for this. These are about $300 a month each, just to give you an idea. They are monsters, all right? Um, uh, so the beauty of a harvester cluster is that if a server dies, the region, the serve, the the software that's running on it will be automatically run, it, run on another server. So it's it's like really fast failover. It's really unusual for a server to die because all our servers are sitting in data centers, but we want to be in a place where it kind of works because in the future we may have a thousand servers. Okay, so because we might have a thousand servers, because the goal is a hundred thousand of everything. So we want to be able to support a hundred thousand regions and a hundred thousand users. Um, think big, okay? So the idea is to develop the systems now while we're at this good place rather than being caught by it because we are growing very fast as it is. But that's nothing to, the, when it snowballs and it might do that tomorrow or next week or next month, we wanna be ready for it. So this is just making sure that we've got the tech in place. And this is relatively new um, harvester thing. It's basically a cloud, we're, we're owning our own cloud. And um, so it's like AWS or Google Cloud. This is the same sort of tech that they're running. Um, there's something called Kubernetes, which we use as well on this new cluster. So it's really, really exciting, powerful stuff. Cool. Okay, so um, just to show you a pretty graphic, because we love pretty graphics. So at the moment, we have a non-converged setup. So that means we've got a pile of servers, we've got some switches, and we've got some storage, okay? So we're moving to a hyper-converged setup. This is a hyper-converged infrastructure, okay? If you can use this with your family and friends and seem really intelligent. So what that means is that we have a pile of servers with lots of resources on them. And basically the, the, the infrastructure um, spreads all the data and the, and the software and what we actually need across all the servers. So that means your region server today might be running on one server and tomorrow might be running on another and you wouldn't even know um, and if it also means that if a disk fails or something like that then the the actual the whole the the, the hyper converged infrastructure will actually fix the data right while you're while you're using it you just won't even know it happens okay now the bit you're all worried about okay so basically we're moving to this it's going to cost a lot of bucks to do but it's worth doing now while we're you know, while we're at this point, just to get everything sorted out. So, next one. Grid downtime. Now you're all going to get worried. But we hate that word, don't we? Downtime. So there won't be any. So basically, when your region is moved, if you have a region, okay, it will be restart. You just restart the region, just like it is now. If we move a region from one place to another, we change some settings, we just restart it, and it does it. Now, this grid's a bit more complex because it's the infrastructure we've got now actually does this. If we move you to a different region, okay, what different server, what basically happens is we shut you, your region shuts down on the first server and just comes back up on the next one. And that's exactly what happens. The grid will stay online even while we move. You won't even notice it moves, okay? Um, we'll sync the new database nodes with the current database. Now this is a bit complicated. so. What we've got is we have three database servers, okay, and they're all copies of each other's live. So they're all kept in, in sync with each other. So 
to move the whole database across to a new cluster, you'd think that we would have to um, back up the database and then load it onto the new database servers. But we don't have to do that. What we do is bring up another node and sync it with the database we've got. And we do say another three nodes on the new cluster. And then we just turn off the old cluster and it will just carry on working and you won't even notice. But what you will notice is performance increases and you might say, well, it's pretty fast now. When it's running in the new cluster, it's going to be incredible. These are 30 core Epic AMD processors. They are the business. Okay, and these servers will have like 256 gig of RAM in them, two ter terabytes, and then on NVMe, they're on serv server grade NVMe disks. Okay, they're not like the sort of disks you put in your home computer. These things are, are tested to a very high level. So when you see, you'll know when your region is on the cl new cluster because it will be on a server region C1. So if you go and log into the um, if you log into the um, control panel at the moment, um, if you go and look at your region, it will say server and it'll tell you what server it's on. Um, so yes, this is basically what this is, is it'll be a gradual process. It's going to happen over the next month or two. And you'll just, you'll just see increases in speed. You'll see increases in reliability. Um, not that we have a lot of problems with that. Um, but uh, yeah, so... It's, gonna, it's exciting stuff. And I actually was really privileged. So I've been working with Dyer from um, dreamhosting.at, who's been absolutely brilliant over the last three years. And she has connected us up with a, a guy that works in the data center. So I was actually talking to the MyLock data center on Thursday for a day. We spent a day working through this stuff. And it's so cool. Uh, but, so the thing is, unlike other grids who are renting hosts from other from OVH or whoever, we're actually in the data center and we've got the tech people in place. Okay, so this is really exciting stuff. Ah, good. Okay, so, um, good. Right, what's next on the agenda? Cost. Okay, now here's, <laughs> this is a bit scary. So the Describing some more. So having two clusters online at the same time, which we need to do, is expensive because, of course, this is going to double the cost of running the grid. It's going to be about $2,000 a month to run the grid. So there's things you can do to help us out. First thing is try and get your land payments on time. I know sometimes what happens is the money's not there and we retry and we get it a few days later. It's cool. We, we love you so much. It's all good. OK. Remember the rules. We never take your land offline. OK. If you can't pay, have a chat with us and whatever, that's fine. So if you'd like to donate a bit extra to donate.wtgrid.net, that's really cool. So just to give you an idea, uh, the old server cost was between 80 and 150, and we have 14 of those. So the new server cost is $376, and we need three of those. But in fact, we will be adding more servers on. So the more, the more that we can af afford, the more we will add them on. So we may have five, 10 servers, and these are big monsters. It was really good current tech. Um, Cloudflare, which is our storage for our um, asset servers and our Argo cloud routing. So basically, <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't matter where you are um, in the world. Your traffic, some of your traffic, not all of it, sadly, is routed through what the Cloudflare network, so things like assets and things like that will actually be delivered to, to you from a local cache rather than being delivered from our servers sometimes. So that that whole thing costs about $250 a month. That also includes Cloudflare protecting us from DDoS attacks and all kinds of horrible things. A DDoS attack, if you ever hear about it, which you might, um, is where someone hammers a server with lots and lots of work, like a web server, like it requests a web page 50 million times a second. And it basically makes the server fall over. Well, we're protected from that. Um, and we would actually, that's part of the discussion with the data center is they're going to do stuff as well. And we're putting in a new kind of firewall um, <coughs> that is very, is also incredibly cool. Um, and we're also going to have um, another local network. So, cool. Um, someone's just sent me uh, just a thing. Okay, good. And explain, give me a session. Okay. Okay. 
Land from ores. Okay, so that's the end of the boring technical bit. Now some um, things that have been coming up over the months, so we'll try and get through these quickly. So we, when you load an ore, some people buy a region and load an ore that might be a bit old or from a different version of OpenSim. And we've noticed that the, the, the parcels are sometimes coming up corrupted. So although the ore loads fine, um, so there is a function on the control port panel called clear land and it doesn't actually get rid of your um, land what it actually does is it um, it clears all the parcels off the land and resets it and that will fix that okay that's just a little thing we've got I'm going to be building an FAQ actually it's just going to be like one page that goes through some of these things that oh this has happened what do I do so that will really help um, peacekeepers and people trying to help people with things on the grid <sighs> Um, there's a new revision profile page, so now um, if you want to send people, this is actually updated since this was made, is a special page for your region. Um, so you log into the control panel and you click on your region, um, edit your region, and at the top there's a link to this page. And this page basically now has instructions on how to join the grid and it get, allows people to come straight to your region and visit you on the grid. Um, and if they've already got Firestorm and they're already on OpenSim, they can just click the button there and log straight into it. So that's the region profile page, and that's free. If you own a region, you've got that already. It's already there. Uh, um, there's something else that's new as well, is we've got automated restarts. I think I did that later. I did that later, okay. This is one of the most exciting things that's happened on this grid. Um, Xenon Darrow has been doing so much work, it's really, really appreciated and, and if you want to do anything to do with education, Xenon's the person to talk, with it, talk, talk about it. We now have two universities with land on our grid, um, the University of Texas and the University of <laughs> Colorado, is it Colorado or Columbia? America's so big for us Brits. Um, and we also have two charities. Uh, but anyway, you can find them um, on, go to wolfgrid-grid.com slash education, and there's a page there that's basically we've just set up. It's quite basic at the moment. Um, we're not linking to their land yet because they um, have only just started. Um, we also have the WT WTEC um, campus here. In fact, it's in the region to the west of this one. I don't know if um, you want to say anything, Zenon. I'm not putting it on the spot. Yes, so if you so wicked, if you want to get in contact with Zenon, anyone to do anything to do with education, go talk to Zenon, or you can talk to me about it. But I don't know that much. I do get invited to these meetings that I go and sit at, which are really fantastic. I had some really interesting discussions, um, and it's just been really, really amazing. Zenon, do you want to come up the front? Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm not going to, I don't have like something prepared, okay? That's because I didn't warn you. <laughs> okay, I thought you said, Passion said you wanted me to say something, so sorry about that. Well, come, come and say something if you want to. Do you want to say something? No, I, no, I just oh. want to let people know, um, we've got the region for uh, um, VWEC up, and I've got to do some other building on it. And then right now we're working on what we're going to put over at... Um, Wolf Tech is what we're calling our group. And, um, yeah, anybody who wants to be involved, let me know. I do have some very specific goals that are with these regions and what we're trying to do. But definitely, if you have learning projects yeah. that you need worked on um, and DJ Illusions, I am on your stuff. Uh, let's <laughs> let's get together, okay? And also, that's, if you... that's all I got. I'm going to add as well, if you represent an educational establishment or something like that and you want to see what they're doing and we can work with you on land and things like that, we're sponsoring land for some of these organisations um, just to bring them in and get them involved. So that's been really, really exciting. And it's, you know, this is quite a coup for the grid because we're now, you know, doing commercial things. And we can do that partly because we are associated with this data centre and it's, you know, it's properly done and we've got all the proper bits of paper um, that we need. So yeah, so please do, um, I know Rail is gonna talk to Xenon about education, current research. So again, if you're doing um, research and things, please go ahead. 
and get hold of them on. So that's really exciting. We'll always have an education section of the presentation, I think. And if if Zenon or anyone else wants to talk, that's cool. Let me say something real quick. So yeah. I'm now being peppered with people who want to be involved, and I think what I'm going to have to do is have a meeting. I feel yeah. a meeting coming on. Good. So I will let you guys know. I'll, I'll get some meeting dates and times, and we'll all see what works, okay? Okay, keep talking. I need to get some water. <laughs> Sing something. So wait, I'll, share, I'll share something real quick while he's getting some water. Um, so I've uh, just so you guys know, I've been in the learning and development business for about 35 years now. Um, yes, I'm, I'm pretty old. And I've been um, in higher education for about 10 or 12 as both one of my clients and now I work as an instructional designer for University of Texas Medical Branch in Texas, which is um, a major medical school in the United States. I have a lot of education that I'm not going to blah, blah about. My data will be up online later another day. Um, but so you know, my goal is I am all about creating like unique and innovative learning environments. And I really feel like we have underutilized the virtual world of that. And so I just want you to know what you're going to see that we're putting down at these regions are going to be what I call inspirational learning spaces and actual we're looking for real projects that are about learning and um that's that's kind of the direction so don't expect to see a lot of traditional buildings or people teaching people in a avatar classroom i tell people the biggest question to ask yourself is what can we do in the virtual world with learners that we literally can't do anywhere else and and how can we integrate that into other types of learning so anyway, that's all i got to say. Loan, hopefully you're back. I'm sure. Thank you. Yeah, I'm back. That's good. Thanks very much. That was well well timed. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much, Zenon. So really, really exciting. So my next slide is a bit of a sad one. We had someone with a 100 region pack leave very suddenly without warning anybody. And it was really nasty. But it wasn't nasty that they left. To be honest, we love you very much, whether you're here or not. If you leave... That's cool. We're not, you know, we don't care. We do care. We, we care because we love you. And if you leave, we'll bless you with your leaving. We're not here to follow people around and chase them and make them a bit of a lie. Um, a bit of a, you know, nightmare. But if you're going to leave and you've got people renting land, A, tell them and B, tell us. Because then we can help them sort out where they're going to go so they don't get left out. So just give us a bit of a head up, you know, because some of you were affected by that. And it was a very fair. It's one of the regions we're actually a bit less uh, keen on renting large areas of land. Um, and in fact, we may, if you're going to rent 100 regions, you may have to commit to 12 months um, because that way at least we can you know, kind of manage it. Um, but if you've got if you've got a region that you're just on and you decide not to carry on with it, just cancel it. It's fine, no problems. Just think about the people that love you, and that's us. Don't leave. <laughs> Okay, um, that's enough of that. It's a bit sad, that one. Um, there is a new version of OpenSim on the way, the software we used to run the servers. Um, they are working on it. It was supposed to be out earlier this year, but it's still a bit late, but we will implement that as soon as we have it. Um, for those of you who are interested, it runs on Microsoft.net rather than Mono. And I know that you might look at OS Grid and go, they've already got it, but they've got, they've got the version we're getting is just um absolutely astounding it's going to be incredible because a lot of stuff has been rewritten to make it faster and better and coupled with our amazing new servers on the on the way um you know we are <laughs> it's going to be amazing you know if you just won't believe what we're going to we're going to be doing some cool cool stuff yeah, for that. Uh, festivals we have wolf fest um please get your stuff raised on the region um, contact Luna Stormfeather, who's doing a fantastic job um, of uh, of getting people together and getting your stuff raised. We're doing it really gradually, and but in June we'll have like a weekend or a Saturday or something where we have some events. So we'll probably March we'll start. Oh, it is March. Okay. Uh, um, we we'll, we need to start gathering people who do some entertainment and things like that. Sorry, Luna, it's March already. 
Oh gosh, why did that happen? Okay, so um, yeah, we need to start thinking about that. So please do get your um, yeah, and it's not lunar linaria. It's lunar storm feather. I know they look just as beautiful as each other. Um, and if we run out of space, we'll bring up another region. It's no great problem. All right. So the idea is to get it all pretty much set up and then we'll just, you know, as we go, it'll all, it's a permanent setup. So it will be there like all year round. And the beautiful thing about that is of course, you get the blessing of it being all there all year round and you can change your, your presentation whenever you like. And uh, it is free from re for residents of this grid. Okay, if you've got someone on another grid wants to have a stand, they can, but they need to make a donation to the grid of about a million pounds. No, not that much. Um, they need to make a donation to the grid to have their stand there. That's all. It's just to help with our servers. That's all. Um, because because it's yeah because of the resources we have, it's not really a problem. We also have Open Sea World Fair on the grid, so definitely have a look at that. And um, that's the big square blue strange shape thing down the bottom right um east but if you if you search for it on the map you'll find it go and have a look we've got a, a little region there um and uh, they are they are setting all that up <coughs> christopher ross viewer i um, got an update from berry bunny <laughs> that's a oh, great yes. name. And did you notice the slide's got a little bunny on it? Well, it wasn't planned like that. It just have, it happened to have one. I didn't spend hours looking for a bunny. We've made some good progress with skinned meshes, but there's a few issues with segmented meshes, like the ones that are used to hide portions of one under clothes with alpha. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh, somebody's bought a region. While I'm here. Thank you to whoever that was. Apparently the rigging data... Da -da -da -da. What, what they're basically saying is, once they've got their avatar support in... Uh, it's going to, um, yeah, so, uh, I can't write actually usable. Yes, so, Crystal Frost Viewer is on the way, it's getting closer. I know it seems like nothing's happening, but it's one of these things with development, is sometimes you come up brick walls, um, and Barry's doing an amazing job with the team. They've now got a team doing, um, working with Crystal Frost, and of course they have regions on the grid, so they're test testing it here. Um, so very soon we will have a viewer that runs on, um, I'll tell you, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, welcome to Wolf Territory, oh you're already here. Thank you very much for buying the land, tell you. Because it all helps, you know. Um, it, it all helps us, it all helps the grid um, when people buy land because obviously it goes towards the servers. Um, so tell you, make sure you get a, um, a region owners pack. If anyone who's got land on the grid, there's a region's owner's pack on, um, there's a region owner's pack, where is it? Welcome Mountain, there is a region owner's pack. Grab that, it's full of tools and tricks and things that you can only use on this grid, a lot of them. Um, and I think I owe you a horses thing, Talia. Remind me, because I've obviously been quite loaded up doing this. Thank God it's Friday, China. It's actually Sunday, darling. I know you want it to be Friday, don't we all? Don't we all? Thank you, Talia. So, I'm so sorry I've been a bit behind with this thing. We have a, had a big power cut at home, which has kind of left things left in a hole. Uh, peacekeepers, you are doing an amazing job. Uh, special mention to those who have arrived and are sitting around at uh, Wolf Mountain. Thank you so much for um, Indigo. I know you've been doing it. I don't know who else is because I'm, too, I'm busy. I try and get to Wolf Mountain. If you want to, if you're a peacekeeper, Go and sit on Wolf Mountain, go and welcome people and share with them. And uh, and it's been amazing, the, the people that we've had join the grid recently. Uh, we've had some ex-grid owners joining the grid who are really excited about it. Um, so uh, if, you, if you want to be a peacekeeper, so what that basically is, is once you've been on the grid for a while and you understand it all, um, your, your name's on a list and the grid tells people, Bobby will tell them, and the grid does as well. Excuse me, I'll just drink some water. Um, and uh, basically people can IM you and ask you questions like, my head's on the wrong way round, what do I do? Uh, where can I get? Um, I'm a bit lost, because people do get lost in this. I can't find my boat, my plane is gone. Uh, how do I buy land? Whose dog is that? Has been a, an interesting question. 
etc etc there's been lots and lots of um different um things so peacekeepers you're doing a fantastic job it's one of the best things we've done on this grid i think um you see where do i go to shop yeah where you go to luna's store generally so i'm just going to say that thank you to everybody who's doing that is so appreciated and it's just building the community it just means when someone lands on the grid they're not stuck ah, right next one we'll do questions when i've finished okay because there's a side that says any questions okay Oh, and there it is. <laughs> Good. Okay, so the first question is to Wicked Way, who said, water level issues. Well, I find actually, generally, I just try and stay near a toilet. So if you have questions, pop them in local chat, and then I can keep up with them. Sorry about that. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That was probably not the right thing to say. I do have autism, and I know that there are other people with autism here, um, and there are other people with some other things as well. Um, I know we've just had someone join the grid who has Tourette's, and they, we love everybody here, and we care for everybody, and we accept people and get them going. So where are we going here? Uh, okay, so questions, please, far away. Anything you want to say? Um, put it in the chat and then I'll sure repeat it to make sure that um, it goes on the video. Okay. I got so, a question. Aha. Far away. <laughs> Me, China. Me, China. No, I'm Wolf. <laughs> Pretty neat <laughs> questions. Good idea. Good idea. I'll note that somewhere. I've left my notebook at home. Wicked. Make a note of all, the, all that, uh, those ideas. That's a good idea, actually. Right. China first. I um, just wanted to ask, um, how long do you need to be around to be a peacekeeper? Because I have someone that's interested, um, and he's been here maybe about a week. But, well, I've, you know, I've been filling him in on a lot of stuff. So um, Basically, uh, it, it I don't really think there's a limit. Some people are going to join it who know all about open semen grids and, da -da -da and everything. And they'll be here a week, like this person sounds like it is. And let them join. It's That's cool. They can do it. Okay. Uh, and who unless, do I talk to to get a tag for him? Do we uh, talk to you? You can do it yourself. Oh, I can. Yeah, just, okay. just change over to the Wolf Surgeries <laughs> group. I'm pretty sure you can add them. Um, okay, and then just give them a tag for Peacekeeper? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Okay, thank you. I got the if, power. If not, <laughs> if not, please talk to me. Um, I would like to okay. talk to them as well anyway at some point. Uh, just have a nice okay. chat. Just have a lovely chat. Nothing yes. more than that. You know. No worries. Um, so, good. Right. Thank you. <sighs> no problems. Uh, what's next? Um, Stevie Z... Uh, shops and wedding area will be opened by the end of the week that's exciting i shall go over and have a look um, if you have shops and wedding areas don't forget to put them on the uh stargates and the and the destination guide you can do that in the control panel please have a look at the video when you log in so if you go to www.wolf-grid.com or www we don't need the www you can just buy wolf.it.com like wolfit.com um, log in, go to the region control, there is a video link at the top, go and watch that and it'll tell you how to set it all up, yeah, um, so you have all those things there, thank you Wicked for doing that, <coughs> I'm looking at the wrong thing, oh local chat, I do apologise, I was looking at the Wolf Territories Good Group, <laughs> okay, uh where do we get to so we've done china um i'll get to you in a minute illusions rail said you're having teleport issues is it your end okay so it, it's very difficult to tell to be fair because the messages are so rubbish so um if you have teleport issues obviously um complete clear cache restart your your viewer completely restart your regions and if you still have them try teleporting somewhere else first that normally fixes it it's sometimes the grid gets a bit confused or your viewer does 
for instance, if you close your viewer without logging out properly, then the grid doesn't really know that you've left. So um, some people uh, <laughs> some people have been here quite a long time and they're not actually logged in. Um, so I'm just going to go back here. Hang on. Um, right. Uh, I think I've done. I've dealt with that. Uh, this will be on the FAQ. Okay, illusions. I know you're ready. Yeah, it'll be on the FAQ. It'll talk about things that cause problems. The big problem is that this is a big undertaking. Okay, we have over 28, 29,000 regions, something like that. And of course, keeping that all running and joined together and 7.2 billion assets and you know, all kinds of things can be a bit of a thing. So, and also people's computers themselves might be a bit upset. So it's, it's, it's really important that we kind of work together on that one. And I do understand people have problems. Right. Luna, yes, there is a way to see how many residents are online. Actually, not residents. In fact, I should, I should do that. So at the moment, we have visitors. So if you hit the search button, it'll tell you. Um, but it does vary, and it's not really that accurate anyway. Um, I, I'll make a note. Actually, I need to make some notes. Hang on, let me get a notepad up. I left my notes somewhere. Notes. Right, okay. Notes, notes, notes. Right, okay. So I'm going to make notes as I go along. So, uh, give me a second. What on earth is this? Oh, this isn't the right thing. Um, illusions. Talia, you can't go to work on Sunday. Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Illusions. Hello. Hello. Oh, um, just really just to um, say that uh, thank you for everyone who um, signed up at uh, Lunar Loon Areas for the social event. Oh, it was amazing. Um, it was amazing. Um, uh, the next one's going to be actually at um, my region, Tropical Region, uh, Tropical Region, Tropical uh, Illusions. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, so that's going to be happening there. Um, and the other thing I was going to mention too is um, when we're talking about events. Um, Question box. Basically, when we're talking about events, I don't just mean people who want to DJ or what, who wants to sing. Events can be open to anything. So, for example, if you know somebody who wants to do some poetry, if somebody who wants to, I don't know, um, be a comedian or you know anything at all it literally doesn't have to be just music um you know i mean don't you love yes exactly and that's something we're going to be doing a lot more of um i know there are grids where all they seem to do is events um but we're really keen on exploring all kinds of things and what can we do with this virtual world just just you know what zenon mm. said about doing things that are out of the box um, so, mm. yeah, keep it coming. So, yeah, so you've got that, um, and also you've got... Um, the other thing is, is actually an idea which I was thinking of, Lone. Uh, you've obviously got the educational side of things, but you've obviously got some very, very clever builders here. Uh -huh. And I'm wondering if... Um, I mean, it's entirely up to the builders, of course, but I'm wondering if there's somewhere where... Uh, people who maybe don't know how to build um, could maybe be taught if there was some sort of area where, you know, it's more of in the suggestion box, I suppose, but if somebody who isn't good at building they can start from scratch effectively. Yeah, that's certainly something that could be done. Um, a bit of an education on building and scripting and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, if someone yeah. fancy doing that. Um, I know someone did suggest uh, we set up a coast guard because we have so much water. Right. Um, so uh, if anyone's got an idea or wants to do that, um, I will say that uh, Chopper is looking for people to join the security team. We need to get that on um, on stream. So Chopper, Chopper. If you're interested in security, say Lone sent you, and you need to talk to people. Oh, let me look up what he's... I'll put him in the um, chat here. Chopper, he's a really great guy. Chopper Gaussman. Okay, I'll put it in the chat because it's a bit complicated. <coughs> I just want to um, 
finally add on that as well, speaking about um, the security side of things, we had um, an issue which I'm just going to mention anyway, Lon. I think everybody we were allowed to do right now, I where everybody's in the know of it. I don't think I'm in the know of it. What was it? I'm interested now. Uh, just about that uh, person who was um, mentioned about stealing something. That oh, yeah. Was stealing something. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, I'll let you say. Yeah, so basically, I, I must have visited someone's region at some point. Um, and they decided to go a bit crazy. And um, they st accused me of stealing a texture from their region, which is really stupid because I've got 28,000 regions here to, if I wanted something. Um, and I also have access to a number of image libraries. So, And it turned out it wasn't on my region anyway. She has been set blocked. Uh, and it was ridiculous. It turned into a big monster. I got really upset about it. I, as a result, I generally don't leave this grid unless I'm going someone, somewhere where um, I know the people that run it. Because it's just got to the point that, um, you know, I'm no kind of superstar or anything. It's just I'm trying to make sure that, you know, we've got to think about the security of the grid um, and everything like that. So, yeah. So that's that's really what's happened there. It's all over. It's all dealt with. I don't think there's, a, there's going to be any more issues. Um, but it was really sad that, you know, I, I'm... I'm someone who helps a lot of grid owners. I've rescued some grids from complete destruction. Um, you know, and I help try and help a lot of people. And and it was really sad that she, she thought that was the best thing to do. You know, anyway, so it doesn't matter. It wasn't really a security issue. It was just more someone being an idiot. Bless her. But we love people and we bless them. So, and I, yeah, I know I've heard from some quite big players in OpenSim that um, yeah I'm not the first person so you know we'll that's put to bed it's all good don't forget opensimsocial.com while I think about it that's our uh, Mastodon site um, they got attacked by hackers but do if you would, would like to be involved in security then please talk to talk to um, Chopper I'll put his name again He's a great guy and say, um, Kleenex does exist, but we haven't seen anything of her for a long time um, on this grid. And I think that's basically because people lock their regions down, so she can't do anything really. You know, um, <laughs> so security wise, Chopper's going to be setting up a security team and he'll train you as well. And um, make sure if you have regions that your land is locked down for building objects, okay, is, is generally what I sort of recommend. Um, I normally have entry on because if someone's flying a plane and they don't have entry rights, they it will crash. Anyway, good. So, that's good. China, another question. Two in one, is this buy one, get one free? Yes, yes. Oh, I didn't know if Wicked went up or not because I she had her hand up before me, so I can okay. wait. All right, Wicked. Uh, will there be a helpers wanted and renters wanted and DJs wanted security wanted box section on the website? That's such a really cool idea. Why didn't I think of that? Okay. There's, wow. there's two. There's, <laughs> that is good. Yeah, that's a really cool idea. But there's two ways of looking at it. Like an employment, like, well, it's not employment because we ain't paying anybody, you know, we can barely afford the service. <laughs> um, yes, um, I'm going to, I'm just going to um, put that now. There is classifieds already, and I think classifieds are on the website, but that's, that's uh, the grid actually needs people. Um, I'm just going to pop that in my notes. Wicked, I think that's a great a great plan. Um, we just need to kind of manage it a bit so that I don't get thousands of people asking how much I'm going to pay them and can they buy the new Lamborghini yet. Um, where's my notes gone? Okay, let's grab my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. One day we'll be rich enough to have... 
Um, we're not kind of at the stage now. I was just making out there. Good, got it. Okay, got that. Thank you very much. That's a that's a really great suggestion. Paid with love. Paid with love. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, but you know, um, if we ever get big, you know, so. Stevie at, what's the name of your region? Kel, Kel, I can't see your head. I know it's on your head. Stevie's got rentals and things like that. Um, grid admins are myself and DJ Illusions. Can't ref. Uh, we pay with love. That's how we pay for things here. It doesn't work with servers. I've tried it. Uh, so basically, <laughs> Dyer... <laughs> My lot, can we pay with love? No. Okay, so um, let's just go through. Uh, grid admins are Steve, uh, me, Luna, Luna, not Luna Linaria, Luna Stormfeather, and DJ Illusions. Okay, <laughs> we're the grid admins. The Peacekeepers, which is who you should really go to first, um, unless it's something technical or whatever, are lot the 33. It's on, actually on the website. There's a list of peacekeepers, and when you join and become a peacekeeper, it automatically enters your name. Um, so, uh, and then we've got Dyer and the new guy whose name I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember. And um, we've also got Stevie Z is actually our chaplain, who is a real life bishop. Am I right about that, Stevie? You're a real life bishop. Yes, that's right. In the Church of England. So we are uh, no, very pro- no. Oh, not in the Church of England. Um, no, oh. no, I'm an Episcopalian. Episcopalian. I don't know what that is. Episcopalian. It sounds like a disease. <laughs> um, but, but, half of this and half of that. <laughs> half of this and half of that. So anyway, if you uh, if you need a chaplain, we have actually got a grid chaplain. Thank you so much, Steve, Stevie. Stevie? Stevie? Stevie. Yeah. I've been talking Stevie. for a long time. Yeah. Stevie. So... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm ready for my question. If, if China, you don't have lay it on me. Okay. So what I wanted to ask is, is there a time that we're going to be able to do a conference call, like in world, like more than one person in a call? Is that going to happen? Um, okay. So that's to do with Firefox, Firestorm, and Firefox, and not to do with oh. us, apparently. Oh, okay. Okay. That will, so the Discord thing is kind of on the back burner at the moment, but um, that might come back to life again. But you could use Discord for it. Yeah, I don't know. Right, why, right, don't, okay, thank you. I don't know why it doesn't work, but it doesn't. <laughs> However, okay. a mm-hmm. grid owner from a grid that has closed joined the grid recently, and he gave me a Vivox login, and I've not tested it yet. Okay. And he said that it's been grandfathered in, and I don't know what that means. So it may be that that's like a more advanced version of the Vivox software. So I will be um, testing that on a region or two just to see if it does. Awesome. And then if it then awesome. if it does, we'll roll um, it out to the grid. <sighs> okay. Okay. Just one other thing. I just want to say thank you all for joining us and truly uh, at Royalty Estates yesterday for our. Uh, appreciation resident resident day we had a nice turnout um so i just want to say thank you all for coming and supporting royalty estates thank and you. we missed you wolf and dj i know, you know what the thing was? i tried to stay up i did try and stay you up did. But, did, oh, but it just did one eye open me. right <laughs> just, yeah i needed my wolf sleep and then the yes, you need your so I, I'm so sorry. I did want to come and just support you. But, I know. I, I've, we, you were there in spirit. You and DJ. Yeah, I wasn't there at all. Yeah, I wasn't there in spirit, but I did. <laughs> I, I can. I will be coming to it. I mean, something that's really cool is the events we've been having have got a really good turnout. And they've also been really good fun. I mean, the social event was... It wasn't really very planned. It just kind of happened, and it was kind of great. And we got a lot of people there, and there was some good chatting about things. And it was more, yeah, and it was it was good. And that we had some great DJ. The DJ was brilliant, Indigo. Um, of, course. <laughs> of course, of course. So, yeah, so that was really cool. Some really amazing things going on. Thank you again, Indigo. And there's lots of people 
you know. <coughs> Good. I'm just going to grab a drink. Hang on. Okay, any more questions? I know there's a lot to take in. If anyone wants to talk about boring technical stuff with me, please do. I particularly like talking about um, our uh, new cluster. It's very, very entertaining. And happy Luna, birthday. I have a question. Uh, happy birthday, Luna. Uh, oh, yeah, happy birthday. Whose question is that? Is happy birthday, birthday, Luna. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Ask your question, my dear. Okay, um, so Wolf Tech, you created a region, right? Yes. I'm not seeing it on the control board for when I'm ready to upload, or did you just want to do all that? That's because, stuff? no, that's because no, some idiot didn't make you a manager. <gasps> that r rule broken! Where's my quarter? <laughs> yes. Okay, after this, after this, this meeting, I will instantly make you a manager. I do apologize. No, don't apologize. I just want to make sure because, like I said, hopefully, I'm hoping in two days we're going to have that space ready. Sweet. And I, I didn't want to bug you if I don't need to. And no, besides, please, you know how much fun I have messing things up on the uploads. It's like a copy now. You, you're not the only <laughs> it's, it's fine. Messing up and, and making mistakes is absolutely fine here. We okay, and I have a... You love it. I, I have another um, question that's specific to my place. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a section that had uh, a 5x5 five five on it that you resized for Tessa. Yeah. She's now moved. Yeah. Can, do, I, do you need to do something to that section, or can I just upload stuff to it like normal? Upload stuff to it like normal if you want. Perfect. Good. I can mess that up, too. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> That's okay. New domain names. So the one you really want is Wolf grid.it.com this one okay that's the one you actually want so if if you're going to send someone to wolf grid instead of going wolf minus grid.com you can go go to wolf grid.it.com wolf .com, because it's easy to remember happy birthday to you is there any other birthdays here today luna's birthday mine is in two weeks but you can say happy birthday now <laughs> i'm just kidding china <laughs> China, Luna, anybody else? Well, we're in. well, mine is on the 8th, and I will be the big 6 0, my friends. Then in 16. Six, six, 60. 60. 60. And I'll be 26. But I act like so I'm welcome 60. to the family. <laughs> Woo, girl! <laughs> so, I, wanted, I was planning on having a. I was going to do a. Yeah, I wanted to do a succinct in area, but I, I didn't get around to it. It would have been great fun. So, Happy Luna, <laughs> happy birthday Luna, happy birthday Zenon, happy birthday Wicked. Not Wicked, is it Wicked? Uh, if you've got virtual birthdays as well. Um, oh, not, happy not birthday Wicked. Have a lovely not birthday anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway, hugs to everybody who's got birthdays. We should do a birthday section. I don't know how we'll do it. I'll put it something somewhere. <laughs> Uh, just one final thing from me, Lon. Sony. Um, anyway. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, going back to the event side of things again, I totally forgot to mention this. Um, if if you're wanting to DJ or if you've got any spots where you do want to DJ, please contact Rayel at uh, the Wolfpack Club. Yes. Rayel is doing sterling work over there, so please get, get in touch with Rayel. Oh, we could. Oh, yeah, anyone who's on the grid, to be fair. Yeah, really. <laughs> yes, I'm getting on a bit as well, but um, but you know, it's it's really um, it's really amazing. I just feel so excited about what's going on. I mean, we had a guy join the grid two days ago who was from quite a big grid. Um, a very famous grid that shut down um, because it was hacked, basically. Um, and he's got a region, he loves it here. And it's just, the, the feedback we get generally is, is just brilliant. So let's carry on with it and um, see how we go with everything. Um, I, no, I'm, I, I wouldn't do that. It's not, it's private at the moment. Okay, so yeah, I won't say, I won't say who it is. Um, I'm just really proud and pleased to have him on board. 
um, and on the grid because he, I know he's going to be useful bug, finding bugs for me to fix. He's already found one. Anyway, <laughs> I'm so grateful. So, <laughs> so yeah, and it just, you know, I, I know we have had, uh, we do get people move over from other grids and, uh, and sometimes people leave here and go to their grid, so that's cool. DJ and performer application for Wolf Grid Rail. We'll contact Rail about that. Oh, Colorado, you're so kind. I'm needy, maybe. I haven't been able to get any dinner tonight. I, I tried to order it and it just didn't. They couldn't deliver it, so. Right. Yes, yeah. Anyone who runs clubs, get them on the, um, get them on the events board. You can do that through the control panel. Very important. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, Luna, darling, that that club you've been working on for ages, I'd like to have the next community meeting in it. Here. I'm not being needy, but... <coughs> Yeah, just yeah. I'm not. I'm not I am the, the thing is, Luna, Luna in an area knows I always buy their stuff. Indigo Queen, your hand is up. <laughs> yes. Hi. Oh, um, I want to know when the roving wolf will be back online. Which the roving, roving reporter? The roving reporter, where you go from region to region and report. You know, oh yeah, I forgot about live. that. Live. Oh my yeah. I forgot about that. We started I doing was it. wondering. I don't know what wondering when that's going to We had a problem and got a bit upset about it. Yes, mm -hmm. we will. Roving reporting. <laughs> roving <laughs> the roving wolf. Yeah. The roving wolf. Yes, we'll do that. I do I do a pillow a pillow a Thank you. I do a pillow the joys. That's really good. We started doing that. We did like one reason. Yeah. That's horribly wrong. Um, <laughs> you just so, got to get the sound right. That's yeah, all. to be honest, um, George, we might come and do it again at yours. Um, we have... Uh, we yes, do have, okay. Yeah, we do have a Nextcloud um, instance as well we can use um, if we want to do forms. So we can work through that. Ah, okay, we can use Google Forms. Loans Radio Show, yeah, I should bring that back as well. Yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. We're getting there, everybody. Okay, so I've got a few things, as usual. Okay, as I said, if anyone's interested in talking about the cluster, I'm very happy to talk about it because I have autism and I like talking about it, even though it gets very, very boring. I was actually invited to this meeting for a couple of Fridays of some sort of hypergrid development group. <laughs> and I started explaining about our clusters and what we've got and everything like that, and they don't invite me anymore. And why? <laughs> well, we love when you talk techy stuff. Well, some of us are nerds. But it's just being transparent. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's telling you what's going on, and I think it's important that we are transparent. Uh, when I talk about I agree. what we're doing in the background. Also, you know, when we need extra funding and extra help because um, the, uh, you know, because we are moving from one thing coming, but the, the new tech is going to be absolutely fantastic. And we're going to be able to do some other things with it as well. Um, but it's going to make it much more reliable. And um, also we can show off terribly to other grids. Not that we do that already. <laughs> yeah, it is quite funny when try and people try and give us um, give us server advice. When you've got your server, I'm like I've got fourteen of those. Okay, uh, yeah. To be honest, um, we, yeah. Financially, the grid the grid's fine. I mean, it's, it does it kind of breaks even 
right? There's a little bit of investment going on from me into this new cluster because we have to run two at once. Um, but it's worth it because in the end, we'll have something that is ultimately scalable. We can really, really scale up, you know, to, to some sort of hyper level. Um, you know, the goal being able to support 100,000 regions and 100,000 users, we will have more capacity than Second Life by miles, by absolutely miles. And then we'll fill it like a big goldfish. You know, mm -hmm. like a big goldfish. And do you know what will be different? Because we actually care about each other. And we'll be nice to each other, unlike Second Life. <laughs> and I, I, I have other a, places I have another people go to. You know. Question. Okay, who's got another question? Ask away, my dear. Me, Indigo. Indigo? Um, yeah. I don't know. Are you going to mention who you brought over here from over there? <laughs> uh, the big, the, the big deal, or no? Oh, there was a there was a big deal when some certain people came over, but we're not going to mention who it is because, again, I don't like to talk about. Okay. It. If if the people concerned wanted to say something, they could. But you know what? We're anti drama here, so sometimes we go through drama to get to to help people get where they want to go, and it's hard and everything like that. Um, Zenon. Well, yes, I'm saying no more. All I'm saying is... No, I'm happy to, to say something. I'm not going to create a lot of gossip. Help yes, yourself, my dear. he and several people came here from another grid. It has become a much bigger deal than it should have. Okay? I don't know why it's such a big deal, but it is. And... Um, there's a lot of uh, there's just a lot of weird stuff going on. So keep in mind, um, I, I like to tell people I'm like if if Kali the Destroyer and Aphrodite and Athena got together and have a crazy love child that was the goddess of inclement weather, that's me. Okay, so <laughs> I don't like like it's always go big or go home, and it doesn't matter what I do. Yeah, yeah. It, it's bam. So apparently, even though there was a lot of things that happened that I kept saying this is problematic and it needs to end, um, it didn't end, and I even made it clear at the at the end of it. These were very civil conversations after the incidents occurred, which were not civil. Um, I said, if I cannot be involved in, in this and I will start doing things that uh, support my efforts solely. And because uh, I gave a lot of grid support, a lot. And, um, and the, I was ignored. And so I left very quietly. Lone will tell you yeah. it was very quiet. Very quiet. Um, I, I said, don't make a big deal out of it. And I had several people come with me who have significant pieces of land. Um, and so once we spoke with our pocketbooks, there were clearly a lot of hard feelings, but there's much more hard feelings about the fact that I'm no longer doing grid support. And I mean, like marketing support and bringing people in. And so guess what? I do that for whatever grid I'm at that I, because, because I have an investment here and I need for this grid to succeed. Yay. And so that is... That is part of who I am. That's what I bring to the table. Um, but in doing that, sometimes people get butt hurt. And I will, I will say to you the same thing I said for a long time about that grid. First, foremost, technology, guys. This is the superior technology, 100%, wow. no doubt. We have enterprise technology here that we are paying uh, uh, individual closet server licenses for. <laughs> I mean, Pretty much. For, right. And that's what we're getting. And I'm not, I know that because me and my business partner tried to do this 20 years ago. Okay. Um, and this is, this is, you know, two or $3 million of, of man hours or more. I'm, I'm, I know I'm probably down playing it alone, but <laughs> yeah. you're looking at $2 to $3 million of personal investment in man hours that that loan has put into this taught himself uh work so i want to this has to work right yeah. like yeah. things are fixing exactly. big for me things this has to work so that's 
but I but I piss people off. When I leave quietly and people don't understand when I'm done, I'm done. So there's there are things happening. I am being stalked. Um, there, don't be surprised at me. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. You'll hear it yeah. all. Yeah. So that's it. That's all the drama. Cool. Thanks. Thank you very much, Zenon. So yeah, just just to say, this is why we're going to be different as a grid. We're not going to be stalking people if they leave. We're going to be sharing with them and welcoming them back if they want to come back and visit. We're going to be um, working on everything and making it fantastic. But you know, I know that I know that sometimes when sometimes people like dramas and I don't like dramas. I like us to, you know, I always say that we should not dominate. We should. Um, what's the other word? We should basically create an environment where people can grow. And that means sometimes standing back and saying, you do it, you know, it's all yours. Facilitate, that's it. Don't dominate, facilitate. And that's what we, that's our like ethos. So we facilitate people to have their dreams on this grid and make it happen. You know, there we are. I just copied that from George. <laughs> Busy repeating things other people say. You know, but let's make it happen. That's that's what this is about. You know, I have, you know, programming wise, this has been a huge, huge job of programming. We've got stuff on this grid people other grids can only dream about. Um, you know, and with the connections now we have with OpenSim NGC, and we have, um, you know, now we're actually in the data center. We've actually got people, you know working with us on a on a tech level so it's not just me doing the tech now it's actually we've actually got tech guys working in the data center and they will be you know there will be a time in the future hopefully when we even when we're employing staff which we might one day you know this will always be the same we will never turn i don't want to ever turn into anything like other grids where you know there's some kind of dictatorship that makes people's life a bit of a misery you know, we're not here to make people's misery. We're here to be nice to each other, and that's that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, this is the other thing. It's like you ask me, like, there's there's things I'll share, and sometimes we share stuff with the admins just so they know, but it stays within that circle just to make sure we can support people. That's all. We're here to support people, and you know, I would never ever share outside that group if someone's having a struggle or a drama or something it's it just it's and it's only and, and the other admins are the same because the, the worst thing to you know don't hate congratulate exactly and you know the worst thing you can do is to with a drama is to tell loads of people about it you know <laughs> <coughs> because then it turns into something even bigger so rather, I'd rather spend my time being nice to people and, and just watching what people are doing and, and being excited with people about what they're building and what they're building here on this grid. Yeah, exactly. How old is Wolf Territories, DJ Illusions? Wolf Territories will be three years old on this grid in June, the 20-something. Okay. Um, but actually Wolf Territories is a lot, probably five or six years older. It's just, it started on Second Life. Then it moved to Kitely. Then it moved to Zeta Worlds and it was there for a couple of years. Um, and then we outgrew it and here we are, you know. Uh, and it's been quite a journey and you've all been amazing. You know, I can't wait to see what we do, you know, for the rest of this year. Can't wait to see what we do. Yeah, Stevie, you have, haven't you? Yep, and we keep growing. I mean, we're up to, right now, just looking on the thing. Uh -huh. We've got 1,028 registered users on this grid now. And I remember, only it was like last year, we kind of, <coughs> last year we were like 200 users. So just imagine how it's gonna grow. Half that, yeah, it was, it was nothing, we had nothing, and then suddenly we grew. Yeah, thanks, Luna. I mean, I really appreciate that, Luna, as well, why you've stuck with us. Because we have had, we have had some, 
when we were br building this infrastructure and learning all this horrible stuff, it was painful sometimes. Things didn't work right. But, you know, we've come out of the end of it with something really incredible. And we are the only grid in the world with this type of infrastructure. And that's because it's been hand, it's, it's been built, you know. Anyone that sets up OS Grid, <coughs> anyone that sets up OpenSIM on Linux will tell you it's a dog. It's really hard work because a lot of it is missing. Um, it is basically copyrighted because no one else has got it. And, and I, you know, people say, oh, why don't you share it with other grids? And the reason I don't share it with other grids is because of the technical the technical ability you need to actually run, run it <coughs> run it and also because we have to have some of our own stuff to be fair so we i do share some things but and you know i'm always helping other grids but yeah there's some to, and it's like the asset server tech the problem with that is that if you don't set it up correctly you could run up a massive bill on cloudflare i mean we're about 230 dollars just for our cloudflare bill and some other grids that's more than they spend on their servers. You know, so we need to make sure we protect people. Cool. Okay. It's actually 10, 10 minutes over the hour. Yes, they do. Exactly. Yeah, you can... My, uh, I've had a bit of a weird coffee sneezy thing. So I think we're done. If you have other questions I'm, that I've missed, I'm really sorry. Please do contact me. And... Um, We'll catch up very, very soon uh, and see you there. See you next month for another exciting issue.